like a Vucity Views logo? If you do, then you might want to buy a t-shirt with the channel's logo. Just head to geekygoodies.com slash Reviews and grab a t-shirt for yourself or your friends. By buying Vucity Views t-shirts, you are supporting the channel, and I'm thankful for that. And don't forget that you can also support the channel through Patreon. Just head to patreon.com slash Reviews and choose the reward level that suits you best. Your support means a lot. With enough support, this channel will continue providing you with the content and you will be able to contribute to that as well. Thank you to everyone who watches and supports the channel. Hello there, folks. Today we're taking a look at the game called Harvest Dice. It's published by Grey Fox Games and the designer is Daniel Devin. In this game, you, it's a roll and write game basically. You will roll dice, you will draft them and you will fill up your garden in order to get the most points. Let's take a look at how the game works. In Harvest Dice, you will roll dice, and these are the vegetables that are carrots, which are orange, green are lettuce, and red are tomatoes. And you will drop them in order to plant them into your garden. And then you want to score the most points at the end of the game. <laughs> Extremely simple. So how do you do that? So, first player will roll all the dice, and then... Sorry for the first player, you will use one die, so you're going to draft one die from the center. Let's say I'm going to take the green six. This is lettuce. So that means that I can draw lettuce here, here or here, on, under the column of six. All right, so let's say I'm going to draw the lettuce over here. The thing about this one is that, let's say I'm going to take, next time somebody takes another die, then I'm going to take the carrots. Now I can put the carrots under the column four, for example. But the thing is, if I take the lettuce again, I have to put the lettuce next to the existing lettuce already. That means that, for example, right now, there are two fours. I cannot take them because I cannot put the lettuce over here. It's impossible. I have to put it next to, uh, I have to take the five or six lettuce in order to put them right next to this first lettuce over here. But if I just start the first new vegetable, then I can put it anywhere. And that's that. So eventually you will all draw dice and there will be one die left. That one die represents the market. And that means the last die will be marked as a vegetable over here on this market. And that means that this product, this vegetable, becomes more expensive and give, will give you more points. And eventually you will fill up your garden with different vegetables you play rounds after rounds, and then you have those carrots, whatever, tomatoes and such. I don't know, I, I'm not the best drawer over here. Let's say you're going to put one carrot, one uh, tomato over here, maybe one carrot over here. The game will end whenever somebody fills up um, all of these spaces over here. So let's say something like that. And there are things something like that. Yeah, something like that. So, at the end of the game, you will, first of all, you will get points based if you have the whole row filled up, then you, you get five points. Then you will look at the markets. So, the price of a carrot is three right now. And that means that you will see how many carrots you have in your garden. You have one, two, three carrots. Three times three, it's nine points. So, you'll mark it down nine points over here. Lettuce is 3 times 4, it's 12 points, and so on. And then you will get all, the, all those points over here. So there's also another way to use your dice instead of drawing them as vegetables. You can take a die and use its pips to draw them here, or basically mark them down here. If, if I take 6, I mark down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If I fill the whole row over here, I will get a special ability. And special ability for each row is the same. It's plus or minus one pip on a die. So you can kind of mitigate uh, the dice over here. And also, now you have already two points for the end of the game. And depends how many rows you will fill, that many points you will get. So they are not cumulative. They're basically like you get two or four or six or eight or ten and so on. And you can use each ability, special ability once, then it will be marked down, but at least you can mitigate the dice. And from here on, you will get the points, from the market you will get the points, and from filling up rows, you will get the points. There's also the advanced variant, where you can get extra points for 
other stuff as well, but let it be for now. And you know how to play the game now, let's go to my final thoughts. So component-wise, there's not much to say about the game. There's pencils, papers and dice. Uh, the box is lovely, it's small, it's portable, so you can take it anywhere. And this is a roll and write game. Now, when we go into the game itself and the mechanics, I like the idea that instead of just um, circling something or, or putting crosses, uh, you are drawing those different uh, vegetables on the boards. And I also like the idea that whenever you plant one of the vegetables, it's the first time you plant it anywhere, and then you have to kind of expand it from where you have planted it first. So it kind of adds to the restriction and adds to some of the fun decisions. But now, on the other hand, the decisions usually are quite obvious and one, two times, whatever you played, it's fun, it's really quick, uh, you just draft dice, you, draft, you, you draw, you draft, you draw, you draft, you draw, you know, extremely quick, that's good, that's good for such game. But on the other hand, it becomes samey as you play it more because eventually all you do is just uh, draft the dice and the choices are so obvious because if you have already like a lettuce at five and there is a lettuce four you kind of you take the lettuce four um the decision adds to um, the, um, the, the one thing is that when you fill that big row over there um, where you can then get the ability to manipulate dice um, that adds to it a little bit so sometimes you get a uh, bigger number in order to fill up rows and get extra points and the decision is also there where you have like whatever you take but now that's the interesting decision so the last die that will be um, uh, left on the on the table will be used to mark whichever product goes up in the sales or whatever which uh, increase in price that's the interesting uh, kind of a decision but that's at the end and in between I cannot really feel much of a involvement I just I don't know maybe just because it's extremely simple and quick and I have played quite a few roll and write games already I really like all the different roll and write games so I try to try different ones and I have uh, Dice Stars for example which I really really like for a kind of a lighter roll and write game but those decision, decisions there are a little bit bigger in my opinion and I lacked it here it's really hard to explain how and why but you have to play it in order to understand I think more of it so that's Harvest Dice and I I definitely recommend it to families um, to play with children as well it's it's not it's it's simple and there's no nothing there's nothing in your face or something like that uh, it, it's around six out of ten for me which is not bad at all I mean like I I can like the game for what it is but it's just not enough for me so it's kind of just not my uh, kind of game but I can see quite a few people really liking the game. It's portable, you can travel with it, so definitely check out Harvest Dice, and we'll see you another time. Thank you for watching, bye. This channel is sponsored by Osprey Games. Check them out at ospreypublishing.com.